Hey guys, welcome to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. I've got another easy breakfast idea for you. This is a creamy cream cheese cheese-like spread. It's great for toast, before workout, after workout. It's high in protein and it's absolutely delicious. Come with me. I'm going to show you how to make it now. You may have to whip out the food processor for this one, but it's a really easy recipe. Everything goes right inside. So let me plug it in now. Let's open that up. Let's take the top off and let's grab my ingredients. The star of the show is tofu. Tofu is very high in protein, guys, and it's packed with so many other beneficial nutrients that's really good for your body. So that's why I chose to use tofu for this part of the recipe. I'm using firm tofu, so I went ahead and I pressed my tofu and I kind of just had it here in a container just so I'd be ready to make this recipe. Like I said, I pressed the tofu and all that means is to get as much water as possible out of the tofu. You can use a tofu press, I'll leave the link in my uh, description box down below, or you could simply just wrap it in a uh, paper towel or towels and put something really heavy on top for about 10 to 15 minutes and that will get most of the water out. So now that this tofu is completely pressed, it's more on the drier side, you're just gonna break it apart and place it right in your food processor. This recipe takes just a few simple ingredients that you probably have in your house just hanging around. But don't worry guys, I'll leave a list of the ingredients in the description box. I'm gonna start with fresh lemon and we're using fresh ingredients because we want this to taste really, really good. Let's get some lemon juice into our food processor. We might need some mussels for that. And I'm using one whole lemon. We really wanna get a nice tart flavor, just like cream cheese would taste. I'm gonna use scallion. That is my favorite, favorite ingredient to use in cream cheese. I like vegetable cream cheese. And I just feel like that oniony flavor really gives it, just takes it to the next level. So I'm just gonna chop my scallion. Rough chop it because it is gonna go into the food processor. So not too big, not too small. We wanna chop it up all the way through to the green. We wanna have those green pieces in there also. All right, put that on the side and into the food processor, that goes. All right, get it all in there. Let me scoop this up. I don't wanna leave any of this behind. We're gonna add some apple cider vinegar. Let me shake that up. I like to make sure I get all the remnants on the bottom inside. We're just gonna put a little bit of that in there. I have this um, no salt seasoning and it's kind of like an Italian blend. I like to put that also in there, but I like using the no salt just so I'm not making this too salty. And we're gonna put that in there. That is optional guys, you don't have to put that in there. You know I'm gonna add my favorite nutritional yeast because it has protein and a whole lot of B vitamins that our body needs. So you gotta go ahead and put that in there. Some salt. We're gonna put the top on and blend this up. All right, so once you have blended it for about a minute or so, make sure you have a scraper handy because you wanna to continue to scrape down the sides. A lot of it, because it's kind of dry right now, it's gonna be on the side of your um, container. So you just wanna use the scraper and blend it down. At this time, you wanna add a little bit of olive oil. And again, remember, I'll have all the ingredients listed below. Olive oil is what's gonna give it that nice, creamy texture. Now you wanna put the top back on and blend some more. Once again, I have removed the top and I'm scraping down the sides. I had a chance to taste it and I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder just to kind of bring out the flavor a little bit. All right, you can actually also add like fresh roasted garlic. That would be a really good addition. You can kind of make this your own. Let's pop the top on and do it one more time. All right, after about four to five minutes, so I let it, uh, we scrape down, we put it back, we scrape down, we put it back about four to five times, it's done. 
All right, we did that because we wanna make sure it's really, really smooth, just like cream cheese. So spend the time uh, scraping down and you know, go in again for another minute in between each time. All right, I'm getting all of that goodness off of these blades. I'm gonna take our cream cheese mixture. Look how creamy that is. That came out really nice. And we're just gonna place it in a storage container. A nice glass um, container is what I like to place it in because we're gonna take that and we're gonna place it in the refrigerator so the flavors can really, really melt, melt together. That should take maybe about an hour, the least 24 hours, like I always say, is the best. All right, I'm just smoothing everything in there to make it look pretty, pretty. You should smell, in here smells just like really good cream cheese. And as you can see, you see all the specks of the green onion that's in there. All right. Now I'm gonna put the top on, and like I said, give it an hour or so before you really dive in, but 24 hours is the best. So what's so wonderful is that once you have that cream cheese-like spread prepared, you have cream cheese for the whole week. It's the best way to meal prep. It just makes breakfast so much easier. I have some sourdough bread here that I bake, fresh sourdough bread, because you know I'm into that right now. Look how pretty the sourdough bread came out. That is a beauty. So usually I'll just do a slice of sourdough bread, I'll toast it, and then I will add my uh, cream cheese-like spread right to it. But I'm also gonna show you another really delicious way to really get really good nutrition in and help your gut. So let me toast this up and let me show you. Now that my bread is nice and toasty, this is how I like to have it. All right, so let's get our cream cheese spread. This has been in the fridge for 24 hours. We're gonna spread it on and see it stays really well. Look at that, what a beauty. Look at all those specks of green onion. All right, this is what I like to do next. So if you guys have watched my video on the viral cabbage slaw, I keep that thing on me and I make sure to have a little bit of it every day because again, what is it? Good for your gut. Anything that's good for your gut is good for your brain. Anything that's good for your brain is good for your all over well-being. All right, so let's grab some of that cabbage slaw. We get some of the juicy parts of it and I place it right on top, a nice big heap in. Mm, it smells so good in here. And you know guys, don't get stuck in that traditional breakfast, like you gotta have bagels and you gotta have, you know, pancakes and eggs for breakfast. You can have real food for breakfast. It's, it, actually, it's much better. This right here has protein, it has fiber, it has good gut prebiotics and probiotics. So why would you just want to have like a Danish when you can have something this delicious and this beautiful? All right, let's cut this baby in half and let's taste it. Ooh, you hear that crunch from that sourdough bread? I'm gonna keep talking about my sourdough bread because that is a task that I finally, I haven't mastered it, but oh my God, it's so good. And if you need the recipe for the sourdough bread, it's on the blog at myvegankitchens.com. I'll leave the link in the um, description box. And don't forget, I have a vegan shopping list also on the blog. Just go to myvegankitchens.com. I'll leave the link below and it's free, guys. I set this up for free. Download it, take it to the grocery store so you can know what you should have in your plant-based pantry. All right, let's taste this. This is what breakfast should be. Mm. This is so good. All the flavors, let me chew. That's it, guys. Thank you for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe, tap on that bell, and I'll see you next time for another easy and delicious plant-based meal. Bye, guys. I'm gonna finish this. Oh my gosh, this is so good.